Hey guys, Courtney here with Southern Owls. And today we are going to be making a super cute bee um, door hanger. These are really good fillers for your shop. Um, they're super simple to make. Everyone loves them. They're a good price point. Um, I bought this bee from AMB Wholesale. You do have to have your wholesale license in order to shop with them. But we are going to be adding some floral. So I am going to use some of this. It's a pusher floral, and this is from um, Mel's Surrey Circle Home. I have some at home. I love this stuff. And then this is actually some leftover baby's breath from TMI Gifts that I thought we could use for this as well. And I want to add in how cute are these little bees going to be in there. Just some cute little bees. These are also from A&B Wholesale. So let's start off with a simple bow. Simple bow over here. Um, I'm just going to use one and a half inch ribbon because I want to put the bow in the middle and I want it to be a pretty bow, but I don't want it to take up a whole lot of area because I still want to be able to see the bee, right? So I pulled some ribbon that matches our grapevine bee pretty well, right? Pretty well. So we're going to start off with our one and a half inch plaid. And I think we're just going to do five, yeah, five inch tails and... I think five inch loops. Yeah, that's gonna be perfect. So five inch tails, five inch loops. And it's going to be just a cute little simple bow, nothing crazy. Um, let's do, let's just do two of each. Two, two tails, two loops, five inches, okay? We are going to grab the yellow and black polka dot. Do the same five inch tails with five inch loops. Also, if you struggle making hand bows, I do have a hand bow tutorial available. Um, you can purchase tickets on my website, thesouthernowls.com. And you can be a master of hand bows as well, guys. I teach how to do a few different bows. So we're going to do five inch tails again. And I think I might just, no, let's do, let's do loops for this. So we're going to do, um, let's shrink those down to four and a half inches. Four and a half inches. That's cute. Let's go another round. Four and a half inches. So we're gonna do four of those. And then cut that off. Five inch tails. And then I wanna do that black and white in the middle for our racetrack loop. So we're gonna do a five inch tail and then we're gonna flip the ribbon over our thumb for that racetrack loop. Twist our ribbon. Picture it's, it's so hard with this plaid ribbon to know which way is the right way, right? Okay, so now we got our bow going. We're gonna grab our pipe cleaner and our cable tie. And we're just gonna thread that cable tie right where we're holding everything for our bow. Thread it through. Get it going, but not all the way. Leave some room for your pipe cleaner. Thread that through that circle and then go nice and tight. Cut off the extra. And now we got our cute, simple bow for our B. Look how cute that is, right? So now let's dovetail the ends. So dovetailing, you're just gonna fold that ribbon in half, cut up at an angle. We're gonna do this all the way around. Oop. Also, if you like the supplies I use, I do have an Amazon storefront. Everything will be linked in the comments, okay? Everything that I'm using. Okay. 
And I'll link all the supply stores too that I use. How cute is that? So cute. So I'm gonna add this right into, I think I'm gonna add it right here, down in between this grapevine. I'm gonna thread it through, find a little hole. You normally can when you're using these little grapevine door hangers. And just twist that pipe cleaner on. I probably could have used half a pipe cleaner, hi huh, guys? <laughs> That's okay. Cut that extra pipe cleaner off, tuck it under, and then start fluffing out that bow. Get those loops popping. How cute. I mean, you could literally just do a bow. How fun is that? Okay, we are gonna add in some greenery though. I'm gonna start off with this great filler bush. This is from Surrey Circle Home. If you are shopping with Surrey Circle Home, guys, I do have a discount code. It is SO for Southern Owls 10, and you'll receive 10% off your order. So this is what we call a pusher. So these, I love these, because you can push the um, greenery up this, the, uh, oh my goodness, the floral stick, floral wire, stem. That's what I'm looking for, stem. So we're gonna dip this tip in some hot glue and then we're gonna stick this underneath our bow and just start building. So I did cut four, we might cut more and I'm just gonna do, let's do it an X. We're gonna do it an X pattern. And if we need more, we can cut the rest off. So I'm just going into those corners and just building. See how cute that is? Just sticking out a little bit. Um, my glue pot is linked in my Amazon storefront. It's a Sure Bonder. Um, I also have my glue sticks that I like to use linked there as well. I feel like I get those questions asked a lot. So just trying to answer those questions as I go. How cute is that? Let's add two more. Let's add two more to the sides. Well, we're gonna add, cause we have seven. So we're gonna add them all. We're just gonna, we're gonna stick that one in somewhere too. Cause why waste one little guy? So we're gonna stick these two in on the sides. And I'm just going right underneath my bow with a little bit of hot glue. How's everyone doing today? Where are you watching from? Let me know in the comments. I always love to know where my people are tuning in from. Okay, we're going to stick this extra guy. Let's stick him in on top because there's seven um, little guys. So we might as well use all seven. So we will stick him coming out of the top. There we go. Cute. So now we have a little foundation of greenery. How cute is that? So I'm gonna add in, I think I am, just a little bit of this yellow. This is from at home. These are such a good little filler bush. I think I'm gonna cut them in half though. Well, this guy, what happened to that guy? What did I do? <laughs> did he come like that? Let's cut these little guys in half though. I like to do this. So this, these are not pushers. So when they're not pushers, I tend to just cut them in half. No one will know and use it like this. So I'm just gonna go in, and this is gonna add, pull in that, a little bit of that yellow. So I'm gonna stick with that X pattern and just start in the corners. And just add, see, oh, that's cute. Add in a little bit of this yellow into our design. this guy in half no one will know 
and I am just dipping that in in a little bit of hot glue. If you don't have a hot glue pot, you can totally use your hot glue gun um, on the ends of these as well. That will that will totally work. Also, oh, that's cute. So that just ties in that yellow a little bit with our greenery. And I think I'm gonna pull in some of this baby's breath that I had left over. What, how cute would it be if I just kind of, let's kind of snip these guys off individually and then pull, oh, that guy fell. He didn't want to be, he didn't want to be in the arrangement. That's fine. That's fine. Snip these little guys off. And what if we like put them inside the bow? How cute would that be? And we just, that's cute. So we're going to add a little bit of hot glue. I'm just dipping them into my glue pot. These you're gonna have to hold in place for just a minute as they cure to your ribbon, okay? So be patient. Be patient if you're gonna add in a little bit of floral to your bows. But I always think this little bit of baby's breath will be really sweet in there. Careful not to burn yourself. You'll see my burn. It's finally healing. I feel like I did that, what, two weeks ago now? It's finally healing. Okay, I think that's good. Just with the three. And then now, I feel like I want to add a little bit of this sticking out. Yeah, I like that. So we're going to add in a few of these little baby buff bundles in between the yellow so the yellow we did that x pattern so the baby's breath will basically be a t that t pattern so we're making a t so we're gonna get three more just snipping them off three more baby's breath and right in between the yellow we will put in that baby's breath just to kind of, I think it's cute. Lighten that up a little bit, pull in that white. And this is, I always like making these little door hangers um, with my leftover stuff. If you have a little bit of ribbon left, or a little bit of floral like these are always such a good project to use your leftovers on also because i am i'm a craft supplies hoarder and i i just don't like to get rid of my supplies all the time okay that's turning out super super adorable what do y'all think so we got those florals packed in there a little bit of baby's breath throwing showing through the bow should we add in our bees let's see what our bees are gonna bring Let's see what these cute bees are gonna do. Kinda have them popping up. Yes! Oh, that's cute, right? Okay, let's cut these guys off. These are from A&B Wholesale. I've seen other supply shops have these as well. So if you don't have your wholesale's license, um, you can shop elsewhere and see if they have a similar product. I'm kinda thinking I want to have these guys like angled in because it will be hanging up. Yes, that's cute. Okay, same thing. We're just going to add a little bit of hot glue in there and then stick our little bee guy. Make sure his antennas and everything look good. These little wires are so cute. <laughs> That's so fun. <laughs> oh my goodness, I love it. Put one down here I think would be cute. Well, his, his eyes are a little walled eye. <laughs> Poor guy. <laughs> He's a little goofy. He's a little goofy. But we still love him. Okay, stick that guy in. And then we'll put the third guy over here. 
I'm going to cut down his stem just a little bit. Uh, let me know if you like this angle. I got some feedback, and I feel like 90% of y'all said yes, that y'all liked this angle better. So I'm going to, I'm still going to play around. I might do, I might still do some face on videos too. But I think for stuff like this, this is a good over the top video for florals and things like that. So you can really see um, what I'm doing and where I am putting everything. <laughs> These bees are cute. <laughs> okay, guys, let me know in the comments what you think about this super cute bee door hanger. Um, like I said before, I just like to have these in my shop. They're really good fillers. They're low price. Um, cause I always like to have budget friendly reads as well. Of course we all love our showstopper stuff, but it's always nice to have, um, a friendly budget wreath in there as well. This is cute. What do y'all think about those florals and the bows? And I will tag everything in the comments that I use, the supply store and where I bought everything. And if I have affiliates, I will tag that too with the discount codes. All right, here, watch, we'll go. But y'all are gonna see, oh, don't, don't judge the craft room. Don't, ju don't judge the craft room. We'll hang that, we'll go like this. <laughs> you can't see the best. Thank y'all so much for hanging out with me today. I truly appreciate y'all. And make sure that you subscribe to my channel, uh, like, comment, follow me on TikTok, Facebook, Pinterest, go subscribe to me at official outlet, thesouthernowls.com, and I'll see y'all soon. Bye, everyone.